Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to do a small video showing you the solar charging capabilities of the EcoFlow River Mini Wireless connected to a 100 watt solar panel and a 20 watt solar panel just so you can see maybe the difference of what you would want uh, to take with you on the go. Alright, so for the first one that I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to be showing you the XTAR SP100. Okay, so that's this unit behind me here. Uh, this one's 100 watts. It's actually very good at um, the solar input. I'm going to go ahead and connect that up. Alright, and let's go ahead and take a look at it here. So it's counting up. EcoFlow's uh, solar tracking is an MPPT, so it does a pretty good job. This panel has been sitting out here for about, I'd say 10 minutes now, so warming up, and it's laying down flat on the ground, just so I can have an equal comparison. But the solar panel is flat, and right now charging at 88 watts. Okay, and for the next one, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and do goal zeros, Nomad 20. All right, so go ahead and unplug this, plug this in here. All right, and let's take a look. And there we go, 13 watts of solar charging capabilities from a 20 watt solar panel. So just wanted to show you the difference of a 100 watt panel compared to a 20 watt solar panel. Hopefully this helps you out. I will link in the video um, description a discount code for the XTAR SP100s and some of the bundle packages that they have. I do get uh, some help if you purchase using those discounts, but you also help yourself out and give yourself a few bucks off. Hope you like the video. Take care. Peace.